What's up? I'm John from Bass Drum of Death, and uh, we're going to take a look at uh, some of my gear today. Alright, so the first is uh, this guitar. This is actually, I've had it, I've had one of them for years, but this is my second one. And uh, my first one has kind of been a little bit finicky, and I had to get the neck replaced because I broke the neck um, filming a video. Anyways, this was a uh, 1967 Greco 910 that um, the first one was given to me as a gift, and I, I ended up buying this one a little bit later on as a backup. Um, so that one is out with me right now. This thing is super finicky, so it's kind of an adventure every night. But um, I try to keep it in tune as best I can. And I'm not sure even what pickup I'm using, but it's, it's the bassier pickup because when I run everything, I run the bass amp and the guitar together. And so um, basically this is the one guitar that I've found that uh, is able to pick up all those things at once and sound pretty good. The strings I use are Ernie Ball regular slinkies, like the yellow ones. I think they're 11s, is that right? Yeah, it's the yellow Ernie Ball, just normal strings. Standard tuning is the general tuning that I have it in. So with the volume and tone knobs, I usually just have them all the way up, like the tone at the brightest and the volume all the way up, and then uh, all the other stuff I set through the amp. All right, so first off, um, this is my vocal effects processor. So this cuts on the effects and cuts them off. And so basically the effects that I use are an echo and a little bit of echo, a little bit of reverb, and then a voice tripler. So it basically like modulates your voice and like makes it sound like there's three of you singing. So that's what I, that's this kind of standard that I use um, for the vocal effects. I guess we'll start going guitar in. Obviously this is a tuner. Um, this is tremolo, which I don't really use that much. I use it on a couple of songs, but we don't. We haven't really been playing them live as much. But um, didn't really have anything else I wanted to put in there. Uh, this is a Holy Grail reverb. I have it set to the flurb setting, and that's a lot of what I'll use. I'll click that on like in between songs and stuff to just like create atmosphere. You know, it's kind of sounds like more of a, a like flanger or um, something like that once you crank this up a little bit more. This is my micropog, and. I have this, this is what I click on to make my guitar sound like a bass. And so I've got the sub octave all the way up and then the dry and the octave up set at about 50. Um, so yeah, that'll make it sound like a bass. And then if you cl click this octave up all the way up, it'll sound more like an organ. So we have one song that has kind of an organ on it. So we'll do that. Channel select. So this is drive and more drive for my amp, and uh, I've always just used amp distortion, uh, at least live. I, I use a lot more stuff like when we're recording, but live I usually just use the amp distortion. This is my carbon copy delay. It's one of my favorites. Um, it's just kind of a super nice, small, compact analog delay that sounds really good for like little accents here and there. And this is the line selector. So. This line goes to my bass amp, and this line goes to my guitar amp. So I kick this on to have them all going, and when I kick this off, it's only my guitar going. So basically, I can kick back into full rig um, at, at a whim. Yeah, it's pretty simple, but that's, uh, that's basically the gist of it, yeah? So the amps that I use, I always use these uh, Fender, uh, it's a Fender DeVille. And um, yeah, so I usually, have, I usually have the settings the bass down a bit and then the treble and middle all the way up because this is getting all my highs and um, and then you know I'll click I use the amp distortion as well so that kind of works I found that the Fender DeVille's work best with my guitar that's what sounds the best and I really like the amp distortion coming out of it and then um, and this is the bass amp that I always use this is just super easy to travel with and pack and uh, basically with this I have all the low frequencies all the way up the mid at about three and then the highs all the way out so between this and th this is all the lows and this is all the mids and highs. So usually between, I mean, the goal is between the both of them to be able to cover all the spectrums of frequency that you need to. Um, and uh, you know, I can kind of switch back and forth and do a bunch of different stuff with it. So this is a, um, it's an EV uh, ND767A. It's, um, it's supposed to only pick up within like five, um, five inches or so of uh, whatever the sound, uh, whatever the, um, gem stop. <laughs> whatever the sound source is, it's supposed to pick up only five inches. So that helps, especially if we're playing like close to amps or something, it helps not get a lot of feedback from the amps and stuff like that and it keeps the voice isolated. These orange uh, Dunlops are my pick preference, yeah. 
need some more of them, to be honest. <laughs> These are worn down. Thanks for checking out my gear. Once again, I'm John from Base Room of Death. Uh, you can check us out with, um, with everything at uh, BaseRoomOfDeath.com. And we've got a new record coming out January 27th, uh, 2023 on Fat Possum.